running. If you are in our waiting room, we need you to change your name to your actual name so I know who you are in order to get admitted. Please let me know. Oh, Uncle Rod. In the waiting room. Uncle Rod. What's up, Rod? What's up? Yo, how's everybody doing? Hi. Pretty good. How's it going? Hanging, hanging, hanging. It's a Tuesday. Going up on a Tuesday. Tuesday. (laughs) (laughs) Tuesday is with our AMC family. Where you at? Where's our crew at? Come on, y'all. Join us. Right? Come on, y'all. Somebody's on, friends. If you are in the waiting room, you must change your room. So, or your name, your name, your name, so we can let you in. Um, because it just says AMC. We don't know who you is. Yeah, we don't know who you are. <laughs> Announce yourself, please. <laughs> Low Facebook. We are live. I'm so excited. It is Together Tuesdays once again. I just posted on Instagram a reminder. So if you are out in Instagram land, come join us here on Facebook or in our Zoom room. But you must join with your name um, so we know who you are. Come in, come in, join us. Give everybody a few minutes to get here. How's everybody doing at home? It feels head. weird to feels weird to be at home at nine <laughs> o'clock on the Tuesday. Life is like I am never able to come to together Tuesdays because you're always working. Now on day when shift. Did change? When did your shift change? Monday, actually. Oh yeah, wow. Yesterday, I was working six. I was working six p.m. to four thirty a.m. Now I'm working 7 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. That's a bit of a change. Definitely. <laughs> My body's trying to get used to it. Yeah, I imagine that's going to get a week too. Yeah, getting up at 5.30 in the morning instead of going to bed at 5.30 in the morning. Yeah. It's quite a I bit different. I used to work the night shift, so I know I know what that's like a long time ago. Mm-hmm. It's 135 days until conference. What? Crazy. Yes. You're just counting them down, aren't you? Well, there's a really cool ticker that Ted put on our website. So, I mean, he makes it easy for us. But yes, yeah, 135 days. So, and we have easy. nine days left of early registration. So, if you are not registered to attend the Atlanta conference. Y'all have nine days to secure those discounted prices. And it's worth so. it, too, to do it up now and get that early bird rate. Because it's going to mm-hmm. be general rates after that. And go ahead and get your hotel bills. Yeah. Now's the time. Definitely to do that. Opens March 1st, y'all. Welcome, welcome. Hey, everybody on Facebook. Our, um, How are everybody together, doing tonight? Together Tuesdays is live on Facebook and we are live in the Zoom room. We'll record this for you guys to watch later. Come join us. We're just hanging out tonight. Our crew is at karaoke, Carly, Felicity, Hunter, <laughs> they're all singing away. I told them that I was going to try to figure out how to do karaoke. <laughs> Here on together, together. I will be muted. I will be too. I <laughs> Unless y'all <laughs> Unless y'all want to keep, uh, if y'all want to keep y'all hearing, yeah, no, no singing <laughs> is coming from these lips. <laughs> no singing. You gotta I'm have right. a little bit of adventure there, Bryce. You gotta have a little bit of an adventure. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down for it. I'm down for it. Let's do it. <laughs> Maybe at a conference. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, don't, I don't know with all the new rules that they they made. They made on um, TikTok and Facebook and Instagram. We'll probably get in trouble if we use like music. That's yeah. There's some yeah. copyright stuff that you got to watch with that. Definitely. I don't know if I know Facebook would shut it down. I think it's like I think you can get away with like up to ten seconds or something before they're like clip. 
<laughs> that could be a challenge. We could do speed karaoke. Yes. That's when you, that's, see, that's when you go acapella. You got to go acapella. <laughs> <laughs> no background music. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Just that's tell funny. people this is the song, and then just start singing it. That could be. That's that could that could be interesting. For sure. For sure. Where is everyone tonight? I reminded yeah. I everybody reminders. Bryce, text them. Text them in the group chat. Yeah, I actually <laughs> got one this time. Now do. Let's see here. I did the normal group sh chat, Rod, and then I, I sent you one as well, just to <laughs> make sure I reminded you. Oh, there's Melissa. Hey, Melissa. How are you? She's got a little one with AMC. And I've been talking to her good bit today. Um, she's so sweet. She sent me a couple of pictures of her little man. Um, mm -hmm. So if anybody has any sound advice for Melissa, she is looking for um, uh, intensive therapy for her son. Um, and also any doctors out there. Um, she is in the Chicagoland area. If you have any resources for her, please send them all. You can't join. Did you join with your name? Is it Shy Randy? Make sure that make sure you join with your name on Zoom because if we don't see your name, then you won't be able to come in. Um, because we have a lot of spammers and crazy people out there. So we try to make sure we know who you are. So you can join as long as you have your name um listed so like i was saying if you have any resources any medical professionals that specialize in arthrogryposis in the chicago area please let us know because we're trying to find some resources for melissa and her son um she's looking for intensive therapy mm -hmm. as well as a doctor to give her some hope so um sweet family and I believe she's part of all of the groups as well. Oh, Courtney's sick. She doesn't feel good and she Yeah. Our crew is sick. We're at karaoke. Yeah. <laughs> Courtney, feel better if you're watching at home. You too, Sherry. I know you're probably watching as well. Um some kind of bug going around. It, yeah, yeah, there it is. I uh, had a little bit of it. I had a little bit of it last week, and my Did dad's you? had it terrible. Oh, no. Yeah, we had the flu go around, what was it, a week and a half ago? We were all for the two weeks. Oh, Sierra said, no, I'm tired. <laughs> I don't blame you. We're tired too, Sierra. I hear you. <laughs> there is Shonda. Shondi? I'll ask her. Hey, Randy, is it? Is it Shy Randy. Shy Randy. Randy. We'll have to ask her how to pronounce her name. I don't want to say it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Felicity said no. She's singing. Felicity's <laughs> singing. Shy <laughs> Randy, is that how you say your name? I want to make sure I we pronounce it correctly. There. Can you hear us? Maybe. I can't hear you. Hello? No, maybe not. She might be shy. Nope. You can also use the chat box if you want to. <laughs> oh, she's connecting audio now. I see it. Uh, there it goes. Melissa, you can join us in here if you want to. Hey girl, hey. Oh, is Sherry coming? <laughs> Yay. Mrs. No, all the fun, Sierra. No, I'm kidding. I know you're tired. It is late. It's yeah. late late on the East Coast. What's up, Sherry? Oh, How happy, you feeling? happy birth. Happy birthday, Sierra. Is it Sierra's birthday today? Yes. No I didn't get a notification on Facebook. Sierra, happy birthday. 
Happy birthday. That's why she's tired. She was partying all day. Her birthday. <laughs> oh, poor Courtney. Okay, we'll see you next week, Courtney. <laughs> hey, Sherry, how are you? Good. Just made dinner. I got home at like eight <laughs> from work. <laughs> You've been dealing with all those chickens and the wings and all that. Chicken wings. Can't find enough of them. <laughs> the I'm glad you're off your deathbed, Sherry. Huh? I'm glad you're off your deathbed. <laughs> no, I know. I am yeah. sound a lot better than I was. <laughs> Still got all the congestion and stuff, but yeah, everything else is starting to get better finally. <laughs> Did you give your sickness to Courtney? <laughs> I think so virtually. I think you gave me some too, virtually <laughs> somehow. Oh but it's a small office, so one person gets sick and starts going around everybody. <laughs> the reason everybody in the south is sick is the weather is very bipolar. It's changing right now. So I do know we uh recently took my my youngins to the doctor and they the interesting weather where it goes from cold to hot uh some of the uh, trees and flowers and plants are blooming so it is causing like major allergies congestion and cold so um because we tested my son recently for everything under the sun and that's just a cold from everything that's blooming what's for dinner sherry um i put in the crock pot it's like chicken and um chicken gravy mix and um diced tomatoes and um then shred it up and I put it over new some noodles. <laughs> nice. Yum. Sounds that good. That sounds really good. Of course it's Tuesday I had to make tacos. Taco nice. Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> so just throw um, a bunch of stuff in the crock pot, see what comes out. <laughs> <That'll make laughs> for the week. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure my mom fell victim to one of those. Um, have you ever watched those reels where they like cook or make meals and you you get so sucked into the video and it's um, like some ridiculous recipe? Yeah. Um, my mom, my mom's been like writing down all these crazy recipes that she says on Facebook <laughs> reels. And I'm pretty sure the other night she um, fell victim to one of those prank recipes because oh, cool. I went downstairs and there was. Um, some sort of baked pasta dish that had broccoli and potatoes and spaghetti meat and spaghetti sauce and then cheese on top. And I was like, this does not look normal. <laughs> it did not even look yeah. up. That Here's is not problem. normal. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> but I don't know. Is that is that a recipe? Is anybody watching? That might be like a legit recipe. I don't know. I've never seen it, never heard of it. And I was like, ooh. Potatoes oh, no. and pasta don't go together. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm pretty sure mom got pranked. Yeah. It's, not, it's one of those uh, prank reels, you know, that they, they make you watch it for like 10 or 15 minutes so they get monetized and you're like, oh my gosh, my mom wrote this recipe down. <laughs> I'm, I'm like it's a real recipe. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. It might be somebody tell me if otherwise, but I did yeah, she I eat it? Was it good? I mean, is there is there an alcohol? Yeah, hungry. <laughs> I mean, I do have ten people living here, so <laughs> I'm telling y'all, y'all haven't lived unless y'all have had one of Grandma Mary's egg rolls. Oh yeah. Yeah, so everybody come over. <laughs> come over and eat mom's food. Um, yeah, we'll have to do that again, Bryce. Definitely. I had a dream about it. Who's the other day? I woke up hungry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should totally do a Zoom, like a Zoom meal together. We post a... Yeah. Post some sort of recipe online that we all share and we all try to make. We attempt to make it. <laughs> <laughs> keyword attempt attempt to make a recipe and then we all like come on zoom and eat it with everybody <laughs> <laughs> oh man Gary did you see that um that meme that it was it Sierra that put it on your uh your Facebook wall the people's chicken yes <laughs> 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 like kids come up with the darnest things. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> oh, 
So apparently uh, Colonel Sanders is a stick figure. And so KFC was really cool about um, playing along with this uh, little boy that wanted the people. Is it people chicken? People chicken. <laughs> Chicken. Yeah, so they, they actually changed their TikTok bio to people chicken. <laughs> so I don't know if it's still up, but it was really cute. Wow. I love when KFC and all the other fast food joints. Oh, yeah, Irene says we could have a creative cookie contest. Y'all good at baking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be a negative for me. So. <laughs> I okay, can well, make a really I can make a really good chocolate chip cookie. Well, that's about go. it. <laughs> I can make some mean Maybe reservations. That's what I got. What you got, Rod? Sorry, I interrupted some, you. Some mean reservations. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, okay, the next time you guys come over, we'll do a cookie, a cookie decorating like contest. Like, we'll have Chris bake it because he's a good baker. Cookie yeah, baker. Whatever the next um. And then everybody has to decorate. We we should do it as a fundraiser. Next yeah. fund, the next mini yeah. meetup. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the next mini meetup. I think in April, April first in Greenville somewhere. We haven't decided where. Um. Huh. Yeah. So we'll have the AMC family vote on the on the on the winner. Yeah, I wonder if my April will be warm enough to do it outside or not. <laughs> Never know. Never know. Yeah, so I think I think it's like April the sixth or something like that for Greenville. Uh, Are you guys gonna come? Put that on my calendar. Yes, yeah, a few ma'am. Months, a few months before conference. <laughs> yes, it holds us over till conference. Yeah, so I'm trying to get some more um, mini meetups going on. I know that um, Rainey's hosting one for the DuPont patients coming up in March, um, South oh, Carolina oh. in April, and then um, we're hoping to have some more events come up. I need to talk to some. I know Utah usually does one as well annually. So if you are listening and would like to have an AMC mini meetup, hit me up. Plan one. I would love to um see many many other cities join us for mini meetups before um either spring or summer. I know sometimes it's really difficult to do it during the summer because it's so hot outside. Um, but if you have a local hospital that's willing, sometimes we could secure a location within the hospital so that way the event is actually air conditioned or heated depending on what season you do it in so. <laughs> but i don't know sherry do you have do we have a spot in atlanta that we could we could um do mini meetups after conference or in georgia somewhere um i mean I maybe try- Scott, maybe scottish right hospital that's what i was thinking maybe check with yeah the children's hospital mm-hmm there a Scottish right in Georgia? Yeah, there's one in Atlanta. Is there? Oh, okay. That's cool. I didn't know that. Be- yeah, it's off uh, Shamley Dunwoody. It's uh, probably about 20, 30 minutes from downtown. Yeah. I oh. spent the first month of my life there, actually. Did you really? I did. Is that where, um, did they know about your Arthur Gray Postis then, Bryce, or no? I think so. I think for the first like two weeks, I was at the intensive care unit at the local hospital where I was born at. They knew instantly when I came out there something was wrong with me. So I guess I spent like three weeks in the NICU at the at Phoebe. And then they sent me to Scottish Rite for like a month. Then I went to Shriners. Okay. I'm still trying to get my, uh, I'm still trying to plan my, I don't know if, I don't know if we would call it a meetup. I'm trying to have, I'm trying to have, I'm trying to have my AMC (laughs) sleepover in Vegas. (laughs) We are so Uh, there for that. For me and Sherry, like for me and Sherry's birthday. I will fly to Vegas for that. 
do it sometime Mine's in sometime in september sherry and i our birthdays are like two days apart yeah mine's september 3rd oh yeah three days apart mine's the sixth okay slumber party in <laughs> vegas, in vegas. Yeah. <laughs> so i'm trying to find like i've been keeping an eye on like rooms because every time i've gone to vegas i've never gotten to do vegas mm -hmm. i went once when i was 19 couldn't do any you can't do vegas when you're 19 I went another time when I was 23, but I went with somebody that lived there. Don't go to Vegas with someone that lives there. They don't want to do Vegas. <laughs> they do Vegas all the time. They really don't. They did it once before they moved there. And now that they live there, they're like, I would like to stay 350 feet from the strip at all times. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of how um, I grew up in New York City, and and we don't do Times Square like ever. Right, right. Exactly. <laughs> like you don't do all that touristy stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I'm going, I'm going, going to going Vegas. To, not, not going to Pat's <laughs> or <Gito's. laughs> I'm going to Vegas next weekend, and I'm staying at the MGM, and I'm really excited. Um, but that's for a work thing. Like that's. Hey, you can scope out that location. Exactly. So I'm gonna kind of, I'm, I'm actually gonna talk to the front desk and be like, "Hey, uh, this, Melissa, this... we have not had a meetup in Chicago, but our very first conference was there. So, um, but yeah, if you if you want to take the reins and plan something in that area, we do have some families that are nearby. Nikki, how are you doing? Randy, you. Hi. Nice to have you here. Do you want to introduce yourself to everyone? You're you're new to our Together Tuesdays. <laughs> yeah, I'm Sherandy. I'm from Georgia. <gasps> you're where, from Georgia. Where at? Yeah. Oh, where at? Conyers, Georgia. You're close to Sherry. I'm in Albany. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, I mean, I still. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, yeah so I mean, unless there are in Georgia. I'm they, we don't have as many. <laughs> right. The all the more reason to have a Georgia meetup after conference <laughs> sometime in the yes. fall. Yes. Because we have um, several families, and then some of our crew that hangs out with us on Together Tuesdays, they're karaokeing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they're in Georgia as well, and I think everybody's like within what two hours from one another, which is kind of cool. We are, wow. yeah. And I'm like two and a half hours from Atlanta, depending on how fast I drive. <laughs> <laughs> Georgia is totally doable for for us. Oh well, um, yeah. So definitely keep an eye out because we're going to plan something Sherry right after conference we'll try to figure something out in the Georgia area because I, I I believe we have a number of families that are in that area so maybe we look for a uh, accessible park or something or if anybody knows of one in the Georgia area let me know and Nikki's going to investigate Vegas for us first I over. am <laughs> for for sometime in September because I don't have birthday plans yet so sometime okay. in September we're going to have an AMC sleepover in Vegas. It's the Vegas. We could all make it out there. Mm. <laughs> Birthday so bash in Vegas. weird with uh, as many of us in Georgia when we first moved down here from Canada. Uh, my doctor up there recommended a couple doctors at the Children's Hospital, but he's like, he really didn't know of any doctor specifically in the Atlanta area that dealt with AMC. But they were like really good orthopedic doctors that could probably adapt enough to. <laughs> Poor I didn't need to have anything else done. They were just kind of, you know, just in case. Yeah. See, that is an ongoing issue, Sherry, with our community looking for doctors to treat our adult community. So definitely, is. I always say. Go ahead, Ted. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, we just added. I think. I think I added. We added fifteen doctors today in different areas few in Minnesota, uh, some from Canada, um, but we're getting them, we're starting to get them in now uh, on the find a doctor's page. So there's an actual form now that people can fill out 
So if, if anybody knows of, you know, if you guys are familiar with anybody in your area and you don't see them on that list, let us know and we'll we'll gladly get them up there and so that we can, you know, if anything, it's a great resource for everybody, you know, like like you were saying, Cherry, when coming down here, you didn't know who to contact. I mean, that's a great way to build that resource for people. Well, then we were also talking on the adult Zoom this weekend um, um, because Radiance was on there. She's a Texas. She had a car accident or something and had pinched some nerves in her neck, I believe. And then, you know, it was hard because she had she couldn't really move her head a lot to do stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was talking about when I had fallen and they had always said to my left elbow, if I ever did anything to it, it'd be really hard to fix because of the way the joint is and mm -hmm. so of course when i tripped and fell and her and she had another injury too some bruises and a sore arm from a trip and fall <laughs> but um it's clear of course when i tripped and fell and and then landed on my arm i turned i had a broke and dislocated that elbow and then just all i basically did was try to like piedmont i think is about one of the best known uh orthopedic places in atlanta mm -hmm. and just look at doctors and I try to find one. I'm like, well, he's younger. So maybe he might've heard something. And plus mm -hmm. also who I could get in and see real quick since it was broken and they had to set it. Yeah. And, you know, just fortunately he was one that was like, he had kind of heard of it, but you know, he listened to me, my explanation and he just worked with me and um, to try to learn as much as he could to figure out how to get me back to what I was. So basically it's just, chance of luck you know finding a doctor that's willing to work with you i guess as an adult to try to fix whatever issues you end up having yeah mm -hmm. it's it's definitely a, it's definitely an ongoing thing i mean when i dealt with my spine thing i went through six different spinal doctors before i found one that would even look at me let alone let alone yeah. figure it out so I've had yeah a lot it's just of, finding that doctor that'll it's just finding that doctor that will take the time to like yep. try to figure it out or look at you and try to like okay well you know what can you do before or at, you know this and you know just trying to th figure things out because not a lot of doctors are willing to take that extra time to yep. try to figure things out i've had a lot of luck with finding doctors that specialize in one part of mm -hmm. amc so like my most recent surgery that i got in 2021 uh the surgeon that I went to, he he didn't specialize in AMC, but he specialized in club feet. Mm -hmm. And so that was really helpful because like, okay, you don't necessarily, th the part that I need assistance with right now are my feet. And I was mm -hmm. born with club feet. So right now I don't need you to know everything, everything about <laughs> AMC. I need you to know about club feet. So that you can treat my feet. Right. Yeah. Makes sense. And I've had, I've also had, um, Sherry, like you were asking, or you were saying that doctors were asking you like, oh, what, what was your range of motion before? What could you do before? I have asked doctors. So like, let's say I fell and I hurt my left wrist. I have asked doctors to x-ray my right wrist as well. Mm -hmm. so that they can see what my normal is mm -hmm. okay yeah. so like okay yeah like sure my left wrist looks all messed up but my left wrist is kind of always messed up right we need to find what's newly messed up <laughs> right, right what's not working that used to work <laughs> exactly and so i've 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 asked them i'm like hey while you are taking these x-rays as like a uh what's the word like a guide almost a guide a control uh yeah. a rubric <laughs> to grade <laughs> against <laughs> x-ray my right wrist as well because my right wrist is working how it normally works my left wrist is not so right there's something different between the two find the difference yeah yeah, even when I, like, my elbow, they did the x-rays, of course, but then he's like, and I don't know how you wrote it up to get insurance to cover it, but he's like, I don't normally do it just, you know, normally x-rays are enough before surgery. He's like, but I'm going to get a 
I was an MRI or a CAT scan, but he like wanted to get all kinds of scans so he could see exactly what he was like fixing to <laughs> get himself into once he, you know, opened up my arm to try to fix it. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Abby had fun at the at her doctor's recently when she oh, had look at that an injured foot. That was not good. <laughs> well, it wasn't that was fun. Too many, too many X-rays for my liking. <laughs> too many X-rays, and she had to explain arthrogryposis to the orthopedic surgeon. He looked at me like I was crazy. He yep. said, "Uh, what?" I said, "Arthrogryposis." <laughs> Multiplex congenita, and then he said, "Can you spell it?" <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! How long did it take y'all to learn? I think I was I'm like yeah. nine or ten years old before I could figure out how to spell Arthur Guy posting. <laughs> well, <laughs> as soon as I as soon as I learned the alphabet, like we'd be driving down the road, and I'd be asking my mom, like at street science, right? Like, mom, what does S T O P spell? What is this like? And so. I was in kindergarten when I learned to read and learned to spell. So I want to say it was around second grade, probably, that I actually learned how to spell arthrogryposis. Mm -hmm. But like even kindergarten and before, my mom was on the phone so much with doctors and like giving information and giving phone numbers and stuff. And so I was probably three or four years old when I learned my phone number. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's not my phone number anymore, but like, it's still in my head. Yeah. That's I use it for, awesome. I use it for pins sometimes, <laughs> even though that phone number got disconnected when I was 12. I use it for like, I use it in passwords or parts of it in passwords. That works. Yeah. That's actually a good idea. I never thought about that. I could use my old my old because <laughs> no. I mean like as somebody that I, I work in IT and I like I know how I know how hackers work I know what they're looking for when they're trying to fish and trying to yeah scam you into giving your password and like the first thing they're gonna try is your birthday phone mm -hmm. number. your phone number things like that so an old phone number mm -hmm. I like that isn't there like a list there's like a, some some list that people use like some words that are often used for passwords yeah I mean there's there's a ton yeah and the the best I mean the best thing to do again as somebody that works in IT that works in computer security uh the best thing to do is to choose three words that have nothing to do with each other mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that makes sense and then what I do with those words is I replace Le uh, no letters with numbers yeah. so like if there's an e put a three, three. yeah okay there's a if one there's an exclamation o point yeah. if there's an o use a zero yeah but three three words that have nothing to do with each other or yeah. you can just make your password arthrogryposis multiplex congenita and nobody will be able to spell it <laughs> <laughs> hey our closed captioning is actually doing pretty well on facebook it actually spelled it right which is really cool. <laughs> That's progress. Thanks. Progress. It is progress. I I'll work. I'll work. I'm not sure about autocorrect. I don't know about autocorrect yet, but it's pretty cool that Facebook recognizes our third grade process. I love going to a doctor and them asking mm -hmm. what type of joint or bone issue do, do you have? And I say arthrogryposis. I'm like, what are you saying? Has spelled out for them. And, or when they say, or when they say, oh, so it's like arthritis. Oh, yeah. No, I've heard it is not like arthritis. <laughs> like when I went to do my physical for my my job, this was like two years ago. On the paper, it said, "Do you have any bone or joint issues?" I said, "Yes." Doctor comes in and says, "What's your issue?" I said, "Arthrogryposis multiplex and genita." He's like, "What?" I said arthrogryposis multiplex congenita. He says, "Hold on," and he, he leaves the room. He comes back like 
20 minutes later. All right, what you got I've never heard of in my 30 years of being a daughter. It's on the very, very back page of the rare uh, disabilities Mm -hmm. book. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. I had a doctor um, before my current primary physician, physician, and he was uh, this guy was totally clueless. It was so it's so funny. Um, I, I was going to urgent care, and it, every time I had a every time I had a doctor's appointment, he was he would just walk in and be like, "So, uh, what do we have here?" <laughs> um, and I'm like, "Yeah, you know, you saw me before like six months ago, dude." But uh, he's like, <laughs> "Oh yeah, 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 that's right. You're the guy with arthrogryposis. Yeah, yeah, yeah." I remember reading some stuff about that. I'm like, sure, I bet you read it on your chart two minutes before you came in. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I've, had a, I've had a doctor. I think I was, it was for some kind of pain in my knees or hip or something. And um, the same thing. He's like, oh, okay, I'll be right back. And the, he literally came in like three minutes later. He's like, well, I just went and Googled Arthur Guy poses and pain, and it didn't come up with it really anything. So I'm not sure if I could do anything. And so it was basically a wash. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm like, well, at least he admitted he went outside the room to Google it before he came back. In. <laughs> not Google as a resource. <laughs> it is definitely an ongoing thing. That is for sure. Yes, it is. 20, what was it 22 years ago when the doctor diagnosed me in utero um he had a uh, a book and then he printed out some articles like medical journal articles um about arthrogryposis actually it was a myoplasia and then um which is the type that abby has and when at the time when you googled it google wasn't even around um <laughs> It was pretty scary, the photos that you saw. I'm with. not 22 yet. I know, but I was pregnant with you 22 years ago. <laughs> uh, time frame? I don't think so. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, <laughs> 30, 30, years ago, 30 years ago, they didn't even, they couldn't even tell when my mom yeah. was pregnant. Yeah. yeah. And, it, and it still happens today. There's a, a lot of our, our moms who have no idea until their AMC are born. Um, that they're, blows they're, my mind. Yeah, and they aren't getting better at pre pre detection. Um, and I know that Dr. Lemon is doing a lot of research on that um, for our community, which is really cool. Um, but mm. yeah, it would be nice to to see what type of research in that realm, because um, a lot has changed since Abby was born. It's definitely I'm come a long way too. It definitely has. I mean, there's the 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 fact that there actually is a lot more information, you know, especially with with what we do, and then with with what the the new doctors that are coming up, and and the doctors that are already involved or are, are proactive with it. It's 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 starting to to get its get its recognition, and it it is it is much much more helpful to the the younger generations that are coming up in it, and the the new families, the new parents. Um, cause I know when I was born in 74, there was nothing, they didn't know either. <laughs> so yeah, I was born in 75 and yeah, yeah, they didn't just, know until, uh, I'm a twin and then they're like, oh, surprise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. It's definitely um, come a long way. It definitely has. But Melissa, she has, she has a young one with AMC and she said the photos were still bad on, on the Google search. Mm. Um, so that's what we're trying to change with our, with our website. And and hopefully when folks do find out about arthrogryposis or, or a diagnosis in utero and they search for um, AMC that they come across our website first, it's not quite there on the, on the algorithm yet, but we're hoping so that way um, our families can definitely see some smiling faces because there are some cute kids out there. Um, but yeah, so we're hoping to change that. Um, we love you, Jean. We're sending hugs right back to you. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's that's our primary goal is to raise awareness for arthrogryposis, of course, to find more doctors that are interested in learning about 
um, AMC and, and assisting our adult community with care um, because, you know, our kids do grow up and they, they age out of the, the pediatric side of, of Shriners Hospital and all the other arthrogryposis clinics that are out there. Um, I was going to say, you got to, you, you got to reword that to they do age up because age up. They, age, they, they age up, they don't grow up. <laughs> let me tell you because let me tell you i'm in i'm in the adults with amc chat every saturday and none of us are grown-ups <laughs> hey what what happens in the adult chat stays in the adult chat <laughs> i'm just Wait, saying that, none that's of why us i have been for a few minutes <laughs> I, I can just <laughs> confirm all of that what's being said about the adult chat just put that up <laughs> but y'all should y'all should join us we have fun Y'all, the adults meet every Saturday. They every come Saturday. and hang out. Well, it's it's every Saturday and every Tuesday now because you guys come That's and hang out. With apparently, us. yeah. <laughs> but we are we are uh, live on on Facebook, so our community does get to see some of the shenanigans that happen in the Saturday <laughs> Zoom meeting. <laughs> on your, do you or do the team come down before conference to like check on things or? Yeah, so that's the goal. We're supposed to come down the end of March um, oh. to do a another site visit because we haven't been since because uh, you know Atlanta was canceled at one point, um, so we had to reschedule Atlanta. So our plan is to come uh, to Atlanta and do another site visit um, in March. I'll be in town for maybe a day or two, depending. Um, we'll meet with the hotel one day and then I'm hoping to do some legwork I'm trying to see if I can meet meet up with you guys some of you guys in Georgia um, I want to come some, <laughs> 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 um, do some legwork on the ground with some of the the local businesses that surround the hotel um, and just kind of like warn them warning warning AMC family in the house take you over to Gus's <laughs> yes yeah people so. with weird hands and feet are coming <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, so we just want you guys to be prepared because our families love to do group dinners. Um, so I definitely want to uh, speak with some of the managers. If anybody knows, Jerry, I don't know if you have any connections out there, but if you know of somebody that we could possibly uh, talk with in, in the restaurants that are in that area, would love to connect with them so we could say, hey, large groups warning, <laughs> large groups for dinner warning prepare because I think there's uh I know some that like you you have uh what 10 15 people in a group um so we definitely want to make sure that they're prepared for the wheelchairs and the walkers and everything else so I gotta see I, would. I gotta see what uh what kind of room my boss is gonna book for me because Ooh. uh <laughs> he I mean, my boss offered to send me to conference, and so oh, nice. I gotta see. I gotta let him know, like, hey, I don't need an accessible room specifically, but like my friends that might come hang out with me might need an accessible room. So, like, okay, I know that you can select, like, if you book it online, there should be a um, book an accessible room. There's also rooms with a view, a city view, I think, or a balcony, something like that. That a I saw balcony. There. Well, yeah, and see, that's it's... like that's the other thing is that I don't want to, I don't want to take an accessible room from somebody who actually requires it more. Gotcha. So, so last year, what we did, and I think it was Misha that headed it up. She um so we had a number of families because there's only so many roll-in showers that are available in uh the hotel chain. I think the requirement is like 13, like by law, right? Mm -hmm. Um, depending on how many rooms they have, right? So the minimum is 13. Um so what we did last year was Misha and Michelle, I think, worked together to figure out who had a roll-in shower. And through that, they were able to swap names and phone numbers, and they were okay. able to... Yes, so if a friend of yours needs a roll-in shower, we were able to connect them, which is really cool. And we're trying to work out something um, with AMCSI where we'll, we're, we will actually have 
a roll-in shower available for use like within our time slots or something like that. We're still working out those details. So um, don't, that don't hold me to it, but we're trying to. So yeah, I'm, so I like that. Yeah. Yes, so that is, uh, we will definitely put the word out at the very beginning of conference this year um, that please connect with friends um, if you're coming to conference. And also, and I mentioned this on Zoom the last time, if you're coming to conference and need assistance, you know, let us know because we have a number of AMC or AMC dads as well as um, AMC moms and uh, some other community members that are willing to help. So should you need a boost into bed or you should need assistance with toileting or dressing or brushing your hair, whatever. Um, I know there's a group of moms that definitely want to help. Um, so please do not hesitate to ask us. Uh, Tina, there is a link um, on our Facebook page. It's to together Tuesdays and you should see this the direct link to join us in zoom um hopefully you'll find it Ted can you send her the link maybe yeah I did I, I replied on okay. Facebook to her with the uh website link to okay the... oh I see it now it was delayed so it took a minute yeah yeah okay perfect thank you yeah, so so that's great. So Nikki, if you do if you do happen or you know of a, a few of your friends that are definitely going to utilize the accessible room, um, and the ones still available, feel free to book it. Um, just as long as you're cool with everybody sharing. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I was I had no idea that my boss was going to be paying for. No, that's everything. really cool. Okay. That's and so I was like, I was looking for roommates and stuff, but my, and I was going to book with someone, mm -hmm. but then my boss was like, I'm booking your room. And I'm like, oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's very cool. Very cool. I love Nick, that. Nikki, you have an amazing boss. I wish yes, I my do. boss would do that. <laughs> yes, I do. And he offered to do all of this before he was my boss. That's awesome. He offered to do this two days before he came to me with a job offer. Nice. Well, you had to help me figure out how to tell my boss not to realize that I am still in Atlanta. <laughs> turn your turn your phone location off and don't answer your phone. Done. So we done, we done told Sherry we we are taking her phone and putting it under lock and key. Will you be on call, Sherry? No, no, no. I'm sure, I'll get a, I'm sure I'll get <laughs> probably a few just from uh, stuff that comes up. Like, I leave notes. Like, I leave detailed notes. Like, I got notes on how I do deposits, how I do the Ori, what you get from this plant. And it got, like, pictures and stuff like that. But, I mean, stuff <laughs> comes up every day that it's like, you know, mm -hmm. oh. Well, if you can answer them remotely, that should be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah, no, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go in. I don't, don't call, but I will go in. <laughs> that's that's what I'm doing next week for this conference in Las Vegas. Uh, nice. My my work, my coworkers, and my company, my boss, everyone's going to be not everyone, but people are going to be in Vegas for this conference. And I asked if I could go to the conference, and my boss said, like, the stuff at this conference isn't really relevant to my work and my position. He's like, but if you're there, like, you can work from the hotel room and hang out with us after you're off work. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, sold. <laughs> nice. My boyfriend's also going, he's attending the conference. So he has his his work covered, his hotel and everything while we're there. So I'm like, cool. That's a place for me to sleep. Perfect. That's all I needed. All right. I can get there. That works. Is he joining you for Atlanta conference or are you coming? Uh, solo? I think I'm coming solo. Okay. I'm meeting up with, I'm coming like a couple of days early because one of my coworkers actually lives in Atlanta. And nice. uh, so I'm going to come one or two days early. She and I are going to go out to dinner one of the nights and hang out. <clears throat> and That'll be cool. I know there's so there will be several families that arrive Sunday and Monday. So, and our crew will be there Sunday. So I'm excited. If you see me, say hi. Give me a hug. <laughs> I will. But I, you know, and we'll make plans for September. 
sleepover yes. in Las Vegas. Yes, I'm having I'm having a Las Vegas sleepover in September. I that's already decided. <laughs> I'm sure there's lots of I just um, need to know the date so I I just need I to know the date so I can go ahead and book my flight. I can't I can't do it on our actual birthday weekend and because our actual birthday weekend is a holiday weekend and prices are going to be stupid. Yeah. That's what about my birthday. It's like it's always on Labor Day or around Labor Day. <laughs> yeah. And so after Labor Day might not be so bad. Yeah. Uh, like a week or two, even like like the, the 13th or the 20th, something like that. Sometime in mid-September. Mm-hmm. Okay. So AMC family, you are available. Mid September ish, we're having a sleepover <laughs> in Las Vegas. We'll let you know the details. <laughs> yeah. I'm working on I'm working on the details. That's I'm gonna yeah, do some uh, gonna do some there. some recon while I'm there next weekend. And uh, well, I guess not next weekend. Next weekend, I'm going to <sighs> basically the whole first week of March. I'm going to be exhausted. Going to a concert on the third, a concert on the fourth, and then driving straight through to Vegas on the fifth. Nice. Wow. It's busy. Ugh. Busy, busy, busy. I hear ya. I have a lot of traveling myself. I'll be in uh up north for what is it in May? For the abilities expo. Got the DuPont meeting, all that fun stuff. Abby, is your dog a healer? He is. Aw, this is this is my half healer. <laughs> His name's my, Tuskers. Is... Come here. Come here. Come on. All the way. All the way. This is my this it, don't eat my food. This is my <laughs> half healer. He's a healer German Shepherd. Aw. And she's named after a Fallout Boy song. <laughs> this is Tucker, but we call him Tukey. <laughs> He's like five months old. Oh, Phoenix oh. is almost Phoenix is almost ten. He decided that he wanted to move. <laughs> He's, He's so walking. good though. He was not right. a lap dog. <laughs> yeah, he he likes to watch. He likes to hear people. <laughs> You're she's just a, she's just up here right now because I have Taco Bell on my desk. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna, she's laying down. <laughs> she just laid down on my lap. <laughs> Are you Are you done? You're not a lap dog, you know that. Mine thinks he's a person. <laughs> he's spoiled. Mom says we spoil him way too much. You so okay. calm for a puppy. <laughs> Phoenix, Phoenix knows she's yeah. spoiled. Yeah, he just he just lays here. He sleeps a lot, but he's still on the puppy stage. I mean, ten years later, so is Phoenix. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> see her with her baby blanket. Aww. Oh yeah, mine ha- mine has a baby blanket too. Hold on, <laughs> this is his his little baby blanket. She, she sucks on it. She sucks on it, and bed. she makes biscuits like a cat. <laughs> yes. I've never yeah, known a dog to do that. And like there she is. She's she's sucking on her blanket and making biscuits. This is Linus's um uh pacifier, his uh like he sucks on the ear as you can I tell. Love it. <laughs> I love it. These these pets are like people. Okay. Yes, yes. Puppy likes have... to pull tags off of stuff. Oh yeah. What was it? Two weeks ago we had show and tell, animal show and tell. Oh yeah, I had the snake out. <laughs> <laughs> and the gecko. The yeah. Gecko. I like I like looking at reptiles from afar. Yeah. I'm not, I do too. I'm not like I'm not scared of them. I'm not like grossed out by them, but like I don't want to touch them. It's my boyfriend snake. I don't like touching her that much. <laughs> I don't like snakes. They're scary. Scary, scary. Danger noodles. I will I will admire them from afar. <laughs> and I don't want to watch them eat. Oh no, mm-hmm. I don't like that. 
Mm-hmm. I do not like oh. that part. He'll put a mouse in there, and I'm like, close my eyes. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, it's it's oh no, I don't like it. No, thank you. If y'all go to the Atlanta Zoo, know. there's a reptile exhibit. <laughs> I definitely want to do the aquarium. I think there's going to be a couple of different groups that are doing the aquarium. There's going to be a mom's group that does the aquarium together in Atlanta. And then I believe that our team is actually going to go one day. Hopefully we're going to try to organize. um, They don't want all the adults in there. All the adults in the aquarium? Yeah, no, that's too much noise. (laughs) They, they, They wouldn't know. They wouldn't know how to handle us. Exactly. Not at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But we'll, I definitely want to make it over to the aquarium. I yeah. If we, do, if we do a um a group date, group date <laughs> for the <laughs> aquarium, I'm definitely going to let you guys know so that way you can join it. Because I think the more, I think you have to have so many people attend to get the group rate for for the aquarium and. The, is it the Coke Museum, Sherry? Coke Museum. Yeah. I think there's what else is there? The right? World of Coke. The World of Coke. Yeah, and I think across or one block over from the hotel, Centennial Olympic Park. Um, right. There's... Isn't that where the Ferris wheel is? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go do the Ferris wheel. Okay. And then there's, and I, um, and I... I want to say around the corner from the hotel, the restaurant, It's Sugar. I don't know if it's still there, but that's um that restaurant where you buy like a, a really cool drink and it like smokes at you. Oh, cool. <laughs> I wonder what they're going to be doing like fireworks wise on the 4th. Um, I'm not sure. Sherry, do you have any idea about July 4th? That's Atlanta? what we were talking about because I was like, maybe we should go out to Stone Mountain, but it's that's like a little bit of a drive, but I'm like, surely yeah. downtown Atlanta is going to be doing fireworks, but I'll have to check on that. Hello? Hi, Tina. Hi. How are Hello, you? Tina. How are you working? <laughs> you found the link. How are you? Oh, my God. I'm like technically inclined. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> we got it. We're all learning how to get on together Tuesdays. We meet here every Tuesday, and the adults meet every Saturday. Um, okay. The adults with our right places have been joining us every Tuesday as well, which is really cool. Hanging oh, out with that's them. cool. Yes. Yeah, so. I just kind of seen you guys on there, and I was like, oh, my God, it would be so cool to talk to people who are like myself. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Every Tuesday night, we're here. Every Tuesday, every Saturday. We'll, we usually mm. post the link. I don't know if you see them or if you follow us on all our socials, but like on Instagram, we post reminders and you can actually p- what is it like calendar it, I guess. And and it yeah. notifies you when we're on. I think if you follow us on Facebook, it also like if you follow, follow us, it mm-hmm. notifies you as well as your messenger that we're we're live. Um, which is I never true. did one of these little video things before, so I'm like <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. that's- Oh, sorry. Where are you guys all from? So we're like majority of us here tonight, I think, are southeast. So um, we have like four of us from Georgia. Ted's in Philly. Rod, you're in oh, Alabama. A sweet home, Alabama. Sweet home, Alabama. It's on, it's on. <laughs> Nikki's on the other side of the world. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's cool. So, okay, I heard you guys talking about the friggin uh conference there yeah oh yeah uh, yeah. you know the road peach tree road races July. oh yeah um, a friend of mine actually uh, <laughs> that should be fun. went to one of the <laughs> conferences before and i would love to go I'm, I'm broke as crap but like i would love to go and just meet other people who are like you know going through same shit you know same thing <laughs> but is there like sponsors or something that help like fund you to go or how does that work? Um, so right now I do not have a conference um, scholarship available. I'm working on that, working on funding. The funding part of it is the the fun part. Um, just trying to find yeah. a sponsor. Um, and you usually we have um, at least two or three uh, conference scholarships available. Um, so that's the goal. But also like, where are you from, Tina? Um, New Brunswick, like Canada. Canada. Okay. I'm not sure about Canada, 
Um, but I know in some states there are uh, disability groups that, or, or uh, what is it, the disability councils or something like that, that that do have conference scholarships available. It's like one per conference though. So you have to like really be fast about it if your state offers it. Um, you, <laughs> you definitely have to uh, be on top of things in that realm, but I don't know it. Um, I ain't on top of anything these days, but. <laughs> I, I hear you. Yeah, but in, um, I'm not sure about Canada, but I know in some states there are conference uh, scholarships available and we're working on securing some grants as well. So if we do secure one, we, we will, of course, um, post it on our socials as well. So, um, but we'll, we'll let you know, it'll be a fir the first time. You guys know my friend. Do you guys know Lazy Legs? Luca Petrelli? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, yes. We dated it a while back, <laughs> like when we were younger or whatever. And he went to a couple conferences there before and stuff and like super good like person like whatever but yeah. i'm like oh it would be nice to go and be like in a space where people are like understand what we go through sort of thing mm -hmm. she said the magic words she said luca i was so we're right good so, friends i was so flipping starstruck when i met him at oh my god, first, we dated at the for first like a year. I went to <laughs> at the first conference I went to, uh, I met him and because I had seen him perform on America's Got Talent as well as on Ellen. And I was dating I him, but on saw, America's Got Talent. <laughs> when I uh when I went to the second conference that I went to, so that the first one I was 19, second one I was 23, and I when I did my performance at the talent show. He was the MC of the talent show. And nice. he, once I was done performing, he asked me if I could uh, teach him how to spin his crutches because I spin flag. So, and oh, are you a, a break dancer too? No, I spin, uh, I did a lot of like hip hop dance. Uh, nice, nice. Like, moder modern and contemporary dance in high school. And That's then I awesome. was also in the marching band and color guard. So I performed, wow. I did like a color guard piece at the talent show and he asked me if I could help if I could teach him how to spin his crutches and I'm just like Ugh. oh, uh, oh <laughs> my god he has a little girl lay who has their Instagram posters as well mm -hmm. recently I'm like he calls me up and he's like Tina what do I do I'm like man I was like you're the best person to be given this opportunity I'm like nobody else could friggin like teach a child what it's like to live in our shoes like better than you like he's a really cool dude but yeah, it's I, a small uh, world yeah it's a very small world Luca's um done a number of uh events for us he usually if he comes to conference he usually um does a dance uh event for our kids and the kids absolutely love him so and so does awesome. Nikki yeah <laughs> I know he met my kids actually and my kids are just like stellar over him and they're like, oh, it's so cool. He's like you, mom, but he can like break dance. And I was like, mommy uh, can't break dance, but yeah, good job. But I mean, it was a small world. I'd love to go to like one of the conferences, but you know, money's totally. tight. <laughs> totally understand. Good night, Bryce. We're about to sign off as well. Yep. Okay, it well, is. thanks for letting me join, friends. Of course. Come and Tuesday. join them every Tuesday, every Saturday. Saturday at 8 p.m. and Tuesdays Till. at 9 p.m. We're cool. on on Saturdays from 8 to sometimes 4 o'clock in the morning, so join us. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I got to tell you guys one thing real quick. Like, So a couple of years ago, I stay home because it's like harder for me to get to work. I started getting into like crafting and screen printing. I created this business called Prevail Custom Designs. So I wanted to like make a company that people could wear stuff and be like proud of their accomplishments because like not only us, but everybody has challenges, obviously. And I wanted to make something that people could wear and be, be like proud of, of what they wear. And anyway, you guys should like check it out totally because I feel like when you wear it, people feel like, you know, hey, I've overcome this or that. And I mean, people don't understand what 
we've all been through, but we've all been through it. So definitely love to chat with you guys again. Yes, post it in where you were typing earlier on Facebook. Post your yeah. links. There. Share it so. on the page. Yeah, for sure. Make a statement. I've also talked to what's her face from America's Got Talent to uh Murray. Murray? Is that is that right? She's a singer. Marna? Marna? Yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh, she has a crazy voice. Crazy voice. Yes. But, she's awesome. She's awesome. Um, yeah. She also, I think, has her own business as well. We love to plug uh businesses of our AM series. We actually have a link um on our website. If you are an adult with arts posters, have your own website, have your own blog, have your own social media. Yeah, let us um, know. Let us know because we're posting them on our website. So that way we become the number one resource for Earth or Great Posters. I think we are now, but I'm just saying we need need more resources. And, and Oh, my gosh, yes. Yeah. Like, as an adult, it's, like, so much different because, like, things aren't covered, like, where I live. Like, mm -hmm. it's, like, $4,000 for, like, AFOs. And, mm -hmm. like, where do you fart out money like that, you know? So, yeah. Anyway. Totally, totally understand. Sure. Yes, yeah, absolutely. All right. So, you guys, I'll see you Saturday or next Tuesday. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll remind you. I'll I'm send you messages um to come join. I'm really good about that. So we're not good job. Just talking by ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, people you know, understand uh, me. Yay. Uncle Rod will be in the house. Nice. Uncle Rod. <laughs> Way to go, Uncle Rod. Way to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I shall see you. We got to close up so that way we can get this recording on YouTube. Okay. All right, guys. Well, we want to thank everybody good night, for folks. joining us tonight. Have a good night. Um, our secret uh -huh. word tonight is green. So if you're watching and you're the first person to email us in, you'll get uh, swag sent to you from our shop. And you can email it in to info at amcsupport.org. And we will see you next Tuesday. Take care, Sounds guys. Good. Bye. 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 Have a good Bye. night, folks. Bye. Bye, Tina. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you too. Thanks for letting me join. Of course. Anytime. Bye, Bye. Sherry. Bye.